Well, I think the background of the economic point of view is fascinating in and of itself because it's actually was his doctoral dissertation written under the guidance of Ludwig von Mises. And it's an outgrowth of a question that Ludwig von Mises put to Kirzner. Again, you know, it's important to understand that one of Kirzner's great strengths is as a scholar. And he is a trained scholar. And I mean that in the sort of classical sense of he examines texts, interrogates texts, and, and, and uh, sort of carefully reconstructs arguments and, and criticizes you know, various different fine points in the, in the development of the argument. And that's what you see here. Now he's asking the question very simply, what have intellectuals, you know, scientists, thought they were studying when they said they were studying economics? What Kirzner is pointing out is that there's a consistency about what mainline economists have thought they were doing that is consistent with what Mises talks about in his praxeological presentation of economics as, as a branch of praxeology, going all the way back to Adam Smith all the way forward. And so in this sense, the economic point of view is an extremely important book of how you can see the traditions of, vari of economics fitting together. It's the various pieces, the evolution of economic thought from the classics all the way up to the moderns. And I think it made a major contribution, but uh, in, in the history of economic thought in that regard, but I think also it made a major contribution alerting the world to the fine scholarship of Israel Kirzner. <laughs>